Hello guys, welcome to Mini Orange. Do you know about Basic Auth using username and password? In this video we are going to show you what is Basic Auth using username and password for WordPress REST APIs and how we can set up it using the Postman tool. So let's get started. Basic authentication with the username and password allows the authentication of WordPress REST APIs using the encoded string of the WordPress user credentials. So, the APIs are allowed to access only on successful validation of the user credentials. Let's take an example, suppose you're building an Android or iOS blog application and you have given capabilities to your users to post their personal feeds or blogs using mobile applications, how we can achieve this? Here is the user flow for how basic authentication with username and password works with the Mini Orange plugin. As in the first point, the mobile application will send an API request with the encoded username and password with the basic authorization header. WordPress REST API Authentication plugin will authenticate the user credentials from the WordPress database. On the successful authentication, the corresponding response is returned by the WordPress. If the user credentials are not right then our plugin will give the error response to the mobile application. Let's install Mini Orange REST API Authentication Plugin. Go to the WordPress dashboard and click on Plugins tab. Click on Add New. Search for a WordPress REST API Authentication Plugin in the search box. And click on Install Now. Once installed click on Activate. Now you can see the WordPress REST API Authentication Plugin is activated successfully. Go to the Mini Orange REST API Authentication Plugin. Here, you can see the supported authentication methods. Select the Basic Authentication method, and click on Save Configuration button. Click on the Postman Samples tab. Now hover on the Basic Authentication method and select the username password. Click on the Download button. When you click on Download, the JSON file will be auto-downloaded. We need to import this JSON file in the Postman tool. So let's go to the Postman tool. Now, click on the Import option. Click on the Choose File button. Select the JSON file which you have downloaded earlier. Your file is imported successfully. Once you import the JSON file, go to the Collections tab and click on the REST API request. Here, you can see the post method, and the request URL, replace the base URL with your WordPress domain. The next step, we will do is to specify the basic authentication, to do that click on the authorization. Select the type as basic auth. Here we have to specify username and password, enter your WordPress user credentials and click on update request button. Go to headers tab. Enable the authorization and click on send request button. After sent the request authorization header has been automatically selected with basic token obtained from username and password. In the body section, you can see we received successfully response here. Now, if you want to import code in your own language, just click on the code link, and here you can see the different languages, just copy it and import. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions drop us a query on info at securify.com.